This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, so if you're looking to buy or sell cards, then definitely check out their site linked in the description. I'm a big fan of how they do business, so check them out and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey! What's up, guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, and this time I'm going to be playing with Mech Knights, previously known to us as Jack Knights. Uh, I covered this on my channel before, but we didn't have Security Dragon back then, and things were a little bit different in terms of what Grinder Golem enabled, and we also, I believe, we didn't have Skulldeet spoiled to us, or at least if we did, we didn't really understand, or at least I didn't really understand, um, multiple ways on how to make it and how it specifically fuels this deck. So I wanted to revisit this. I wanted to build, like, the most degenerate Mech Knight deck that I could think of, and this is... It's a pretty degenerate deck, considering that Extreme Force is around the corner, coming out to us in January of 2018, and this is really the only archetype worth talking about coming out in Extreme Force, and it's not even really that amazing, uh, but using Gofu, using Grinder Golem, using Venus, which you see in this uh, list as well, I just went out of my way to put as many engines in this deck as I could that were starting card engines, so there's seven starter cards in this deck now. Uh, which is even still a small number. But this is for going first, on first turn of the game. Uh, Grinder Golem or Venus equals one card Skull Deets, and those are, that's actually like really good for this deck in particular because you draw four and then put the three worst cards in your deck back on the bottom of your deck, meaning you can dig for the spells and trap support, uh, you can dig for things like trade-in to use with your stuff to then also use uh, Depths to revive what you, dis uh, what you discard, the fact that Skulldeet lets you freely special summon one of your uh, Jack Knights, one of your Mech Knights out of your hand as well uh, is a fantastic like way to approach this deck. And it was something that I wanted to revisit because I enjoyed it the first time I played it and I've been enjoying this list because like I said, I just I was like, alright, how many starter cards can we cram into this deck to try and make it at least playable on a consistent basis? And this is sort of the first draft of what I have uh, come up with. Now if you don't like Grinder Golem, I mean I can understand, but... I mean, it's it's one of those things that either get with the times or don't even try with the times, basically. It's unfortunate, but this deck specifically really needs it because of your going first strategies relying on cards like Grinder Golem, Gofu, or Venus, because you can't physically put two cards in a column without utilizing your normal summon on either Venus or um, or like a Shine Ball um, to like get, uh, get these uh, Mech Knights out of your hand. Like, it's impossible to play this deck turn one without things like Grinder Golem and Venus being maxed out in the list. And the fact that Skull Deet is just a huge benefit to the deck also is just something that uh, that works out for you. I'm not trying to play this deck as a going second deck. Uh-uh. It's pretty strong as a going second deck because these can just freely special summon themselves. And the uh, the blue the blue sky one, Azure Sky, is pretty damn good at dealing with your opponent's like uh, boards, just throwing it into boards. They have to negate it uh, or else you're going to get searches. It's really cool in that regard, but ultimately... This is my first draft of a going first build that maximizes on these starter cards to try and be as degenerate as possible with Skulldeet. So, without any further explanation, let's jump straight into uh, at least one of the games and see if we can get multiples for this video. But let's jump straight into some gameplay and see how this performs. Alright, yes, alright. It's so easy to just go first on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Percy because everybody picks paper this time of the month. Alright, I've got... <laughs> I opened with all of my starter cards. That's neat, and I opened with these. Amazing. So let's see if my opponent just leaves. Uh, we'll start getting footage for the Grinder Golem Rage Quit compilation uh, if our, my opponent leaves. There are some people that are really cool about not leaving. Um, about 50-50 is who leaves and who doesn't. And if you looked at my extra deck during the deck uh, portion of this video, you'll have seen that there's literally just so many uh, copies of Akashic Magician and Security Dragon and all that. I'm trying to resolve the Grinder Golem combo as many times in a game as possible to give the deck longevity. Uh, because this deck has multiple, like, one-card plays in the Jack Knights when you start establishing boards, but otherwise it requires some added help. So, uh, I could have easily normal summoned, I could have special Gofu and normal summoned Venus as well, but this just seems like the more, uh, more beneficial route um, going into Grinder Golem, because you can just tribute, um, like, the token, you can use the token tribute, you can use the tokens for Link Materials, and then you, uh, then you go ham in that regard. Now, normally you'd make like firewall here, and you definitely can, uh, but it just depends on what you want to do. I think I will make firewall, bounce my grinder golem again, and dig for cards, and then special summon again and make skull deet. Um, so yeah, that will be what we do. Sometimes I prefer not to make the firewall, 
Uh, it's really up to, like, what I'm feeling like, but, I mean, it does give you chances to get to an extra card, so, I mean, why not? Uh, let's see, what is, what is that card even called again? World Legacy, um, True Depths of the World Legacy. We'll try to dig for that. Uh, we'll see what we get out of these four cards. Venus, that, a Shine Ball, and a Max C. Okay. Well, not what I had, uh, hoped for, but we can work with that. Uh, but so I can use this to bounce the Grinder Golem, summon the Grinder Golem again, and then make Skull Deep, uh, to draw four, and put back three. And the cards I'll be putting back are very likely the Gofu. I kept the Gofu in hand because it's just a free card to put back. The Grinder Golem combo is self-sufficient. Um, but so what I need to do is I need to tribute one of these tokens for Link Karibo to be another name. And that's four names. Uh, so from here, Special Summon, Skull Deet, Boink. Uh, and leaving the Grinder Golem there is sort of good for me. Because it allows me to... Okay, well this is going back. This Gofu is going back. Um, I didn't draw any of my spell and trap support. That's insane to me. That is... F wow. It's wild. Um, Alright, so. Do that. Are any of these effects once per turn? No. They're all multiple turn. So, we'll be going for multiple skull beats. That's what we're going to be doing. Um, so I'm going to put back this... Uh, it doesn't matter what order I put them on the bottom of my deck in because I'm going to be using Skull Deet, Special Link Venus out of my hand, and then I'll be making another Skull Deet. <laughs> um, so, I'll, yeah, I'll do Skull Deet for Venus here, and then I'll, I've got, um, I've got one Shine Ball in my graveyard, uh, but I've got two in my deck still, so we'll, we'll take that. We'll, we'll take these plays. I'm going to make second Skull Deet. Uh, come on, Venus, there you are. Shine Bell over here, and so now I'm going to make a uh, I'm going to make Imduk with one of these Shine Balls here, and then I'm going to go into another Skuldi and draw three again, I'm, uh, or draw four again. <laughs> we're we're gonna we're gonna do this. Yes, please. <laughs> I need to dig. I'm trying to dig. There we go. We'll put back Venus. We'll put back uh, this. This is key. Um, so what I can do is I can put back my Ash Blossom, my Venus, and I'll put back, I guess this? Do I have, I have ones in the graveyard, right? Yes, I do. Um, so I'll put back this as well. Uh, it does not matter what order they're in, uh, but what I can do is that I can now set this. I can special summon my uh, blue motherfucker here. And then I can use its effect to move it over. And then I can special summon this guy from my hand. And let's see, which one do I have in my graveyard? Um, I have... Because I know I mode one. Okay, I have another one of the wind-up rabbit. Uh, so I can use this, banish this. Um, it'll come back during my next standby phase. Or I could just go ahead and banish this here. Use this to get the one out of my grave. Um, hmm... It all, it all just depends on how I want to handle this. Uh, this Skull Deet can special summon a card freely. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to banish this to get a search. I'm going to get a search for Azure Sky. And then I can use this Activate to add back the card I just banished. And then I can use the Skull Deet's effect to special summon it back from my hand. So I just got a free search. So that's fantastic. Um, and now I can activate this to move it over here, and then I can special summon this here, getting me another search. Yes, I'd love to use its effect. Um, so I'll get another search for, I guess, um, Cobalt Depths. It's pretty much, it's pretty much the best one. Uh, I don't have any more Skuldi summons, but I do have these, and this, I'm, I'm going to literally lock my opponent out of the game. Um, I told you, I built the most degenerate Mech Knight deck in the world. <laughs> you open Grinder Golem or you open Venus, and you just dig for this nonsense. Um, so now I have access to True Depths, which I can use to bring back the Wind Up Rabbit that's in my grave. So it can go into one of these zones, and so I only have one zone that's left unopened for one column of no messing around with. But this monster can move between those columns, so I can shut down spells, traps, and monsters. Uh, virtually across the entire board. Um, is he going to attack into my thing? I have the Whisper, so I don't really care about that. 
Uh, what is this? Magician's Rod, you say. Uh, well, I will chain my True Depths so that it gets negated, and I will use it on this to summon back right here. Now, I'm going to hold down A, uh, because if I hold down A, then what that means is that I'm going to be able to use my Wind Up Rabbit's effect on the end phase. I keep calling it Wind Up Rabbit because that's what it is. Um, <laughs> like, it's the easiest thing. So, no trap effects, and then this is the no spell. So, I literally had every single card in the game in his deck turned into a blank. And if he attacked with that grinder golem, uh, then I could just whisper, uh, targeting uh, whatever monster he attacks into that's a mech knight that matters. If he attacks the skull deep, that doesn't matter. Um, I'm okay with that going away. But any of these he attacks just gets whispered uh, to gain a thousand, and then the grinder golem dies. I told you, I built a gen I built a really generic, like, generic, not not the word I'm looking for. I made a very degenerate <laughs> Mech Knight deck, and so we're going to play with it a little bit more. Alright, so do I get to go first? I do not, so I'm going to be going second. So that means I can't degenerate him with Skull Deets, potentially, but this deck is still really bad at going first. Like, this would have been a terrible hand to go first. Literally awful. I have zero plays with this hand if I'm going first. Uh, in fact, I'm considering... I've considered dropping this and this to just one copy each uh, because if you do that then what you have is you have uh, two slots in the deck that you can put towards other draw cards which is probably something that I might experiment with even before I'm done uh, filming this video uh, but so like Skulker Bat Joker being summoned I'm playing against some form of Pendulum deck I can only assume it's Pendulum Magicians and I'd really like for it to be Pendulum Magicians alright cool Wisdom Eye hell yeah Alright, so Double Iris plus Wisdom Eye, I guess, is how this is going to go. Yeah, seems pretty alright. Um, so, I wonder if he'll open with, like, the Tornado Dragon play to pop this and search for Time Pendulum Graph. Because, uh, like, that's probably, without any other information of what's in his hand, that is definitely what he should be doing. You shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> that's definitely not as big of a, that's not as big of a plus as you think it was. It's not as big of a plus as you thought it was. You literally had a better play... Um, by leaving it in your extra deck, because you were Pendulum Summoning it anyway. You should have gotten Purple Poison, and then you could Pendulum this from your extra deck, still Pendulum this from your hand, and then you could make, uh, you could have made, um, you could have made, uh, this, and popped Double Iris, and gotten a search, and still had, like, or e even leave this where it, even still use this. Even still put it here. Because if you put that there and you had waited, you could have linked away with the Wisdom Eye and added it to your hand. But now as it stands, you're playing down a card. Um, like, there was literally no reason to use your Ove Dragon effect. <laughs> literally zero. Uh, but you just did it anyway. Um, but I'm probably still going to lose this man because he's opened uh, Double Iris, Astrograph, uh, Heavy Metal Foes Electrum. Um, and like everything, everything's going right for him. Despite the fact that he could just have one extra card because of Ove Dragon, like he could have he could have Wisdom Eye in his hand ready for next turn, but no, he added it back for literally no reason, and then used it, and then Pendulum summoned it. So sometimes you just gotta you gotta identify things. That one card, if he loses this game, is probably what would have not made him lose. Um, but so as it stands, and now this is here, I've got two places where I can summon my Jack Knights. Cool first one that's getting slammed down is Azur to try and uh, get two searches. We always want more monsters. Um, that's a grinder golem. Whoa. Alright. Well, let's bait this back row first. And then we can go into a Skull Deep. Because this back row is probably just time pendulum graph. Nothing really major. Uh, but we can we can mess with it. We can try. Um, now the thing is, is that uh, if he uses time pendulum graph on this, I think I get no searches. Uh, because it would no longer be in a column. It would have left the field and not be in a column. Um, yeah, because I, I, it's like the same thing as like when Link monsters are pointing at shit. Uh, but so then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get uh, this. Yeah, I need this, and I need another copy of this, just in case something goes wrong. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to special this here. And then I'm going to use its effect to move it. Um, so that I can summon this and try to pop the spell or trap. Um, that's the way I want to do this. Okay, never mind. It got... I baited it successfully. Alright. 
So now, the time is right for me to do my things. Because now this is still here. I can special this, banish this, um, summon this, and I can, uh, I can pop the monster that's here. And then I can go into Grinder Golem and do my stuff. So I'll have two extra monsters on the field. So I'll, the Grinder Golem play is perfectly fine. Um, even though the fact that this is here, Grinder Golem play is perfectly fine. Uh, so let's see. I really wish I had drawn at least one Spell or Trap. Uh, that would make this so much easier for me. Um, 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 um. So yeah, we'll put this here. Because now what I can do is I can use this effect to banish this, pop this, and then I can summon Grinder Golem over here. And that makes my play live. Um, because I can go Grinder Golem, um, I can do Grinder Golem, I can do my two guys over here. And you didn't even summon where you would cuck me out of Grinder Golem. Mate, what an amazing player. So what I'll do is I'll summon my two tokens over here. Uh, Grinder Golem right here, and so I'll make Link Spider and Link Karibo over here, and then go into a Casting Magician over here, which will bounce this back to my hand, which is fine. Um, so yeah, Link Spider here. Uh, no, nothing I would like to activate. Um, and then Link Karibo here. Let's see if I do this correctly. Um, so then Akashic Magician over here, which will bounce the Grinder Golem and my monster, um, which then means I can summon another monster in that zone uh, pretty easily. But so, we'll summon the Grinder Tokens, we'll go into this again, <sighs> and then we'll go into Security Dragon and do my stuff. I still have a battle phase, so I can still attack over everything he owns. Um, I can do a few different things, in fact. Uh, but so I'll use Security Dragon to bounce the Grinder Golem, which I can then summon again. I can make Firewall, uh, and then should be should be fine. I probably could have structured this in a little bit of a, of a different order, uh, but hopefully I, I'm banking on drawing my spells and traps off of my Skull Deep. Um, so that's that's really what we're going for here. Uh, but so I'll activate this. What I want is I want. Um, World Legacy. Which one do I want? I want the um, I want the the key, the spell that adds back my banished. That's the one that I want to try and dig for. Uh, so Gofu, Azur Blue, Scars, and another Red. All right. Well, nothing nothing to do much there. But so what we'll do is we'll get back to the Grinder Golem. Where is he? There he is. And now I can special summon him, and I can do my Skull Deep play, uh, and we should be good to go there anyway. So, Grinder Golem over here, and now I can go into Skull Deep, which will free up space to summon this, pop this, um, then everything should be fine and hunky-dory, as, as it were, uh, because I can use my Link Karibo here, get rid of this, summon this back, then I can go into Skull Deep, uh, with these, in fact, yeah, I'll use the Firewall too, I was thinking, I could keep the Firewall, um, but I don't really see a reason to do so. I've got the Venus, which means I can do another Skull Deep as well. Um, I'll put back one of these because I've got multiples. I'll put back the Trade In because I don't need it, and I'll put back the Ash Blossom because I don't need it. Uh, it doesn't matter what order because I can just go into another Skull Deep off of, uh, off of my Venus. Um, in fact, I can go into another Skull Deep while leaving the Skull Deep here, which is actually going to be pretty valuable, uh, as it were. But so I'll use the Skull Deep, I'll special the Venus out of my hand over here. Um, actually, because I've got access to all three Shine Balls in my deck, I can just summon the other Skull Deep down in these zones. Um, so that's fine too. Uh, but so yeah, we'll go into this, go into this. Uh, I'm going to activate this first to banish this, draw two, okay, cool. That gives me some idea of what I need to be doing. Uh, and then get this Shine Ball over here. Uh, this actually, this being right here is what's going to have to, I'm going to have to link away with it uh, into the Skull Deep. That's, that's why. Uh, I should have summoned the Venus over here, and then I could have kept this, but it's fine. I can get rid of it. Not big of a, not that big of a deal. 
Um, because I can just go into Skulldeet using, uh, using one, two, three, and four. Yeah, I think it, it has to be these four. Uh, so I'll summon Skulldeet. Uh, I will summon it here. And then I can use its effect. Yes, I'd love to use its effect to draw four cards, please. Um, I'll put this back. I'll put back the Max C. And I'll put back the Whisper because it's unneeded. I've got duplicates. Um, and that's fine. So I still don't have a Scars, which is a little agitating. But also, it's fine. Um, because we can just work with that. So, now I can special summon this, uh, here. I can pop the Time Pendulum Graph, uh, and then everything should be good to go. So I'll banish this, pop time, and then I get to special for free with this. So I get special, um, I'll activate this, special summoning this guy here. And then I'll use his effect banishing this to search. Um, for the uh, for the big blue man, the Cobalt Depths. And then I can special summon this. Um, have I already special summoned it this turn? Yeah, I did. That was like the start of my turn. Oops. Um, but I can special summon another one of these, so that's fine. Um, I can use this to add back one of these guys pretty handily. I should have put this in a different zone. Luckily, I've got this that I can set. I'm just being a dumbass for no reason. I'm being a dumbass for the sake of being a dumbass at this point. I'll add back this. Um, I hope that's not the one that's already coming back, but that's fine, even if it is. Uh, so I'll set this over here. Uh, none of these are freely specialable except for this man. So I will put it over here. Skull will trigger. Uh, so that's fine. And now I can go into my battle phase and just clear off his field. And then he has to deal with my board in some way, in some capacity. Which would be a little bit easier for him if he had... A Wisdom Eye Magician in his hand. But, we all know how that one went. Um, but so this will attack this. I, I messed up a couple times during that turn. Uh, but it's still perfectly fine as far as, uh, as far as how my situation in the game is. Because I've got this negating, uh, spells. I can't negate anything because of this. Um, being over here. If I'd summoned the Venus over here, I could have gotten rid of all of them. And I could have left the, uh, the Azure Blue where it was. But... Sometimes you just suck at the game, and you just have to you have to deal with the consequences as they are as they are put out in front of you. Uh, but so what I have access to is I could actually go ahead and make a link spider with this just to get it off the board. But I'd rather that just chill in defense mode, um, if I'm completely honest with you. Or I could make all of these into a firewall dragon. Again, not really something I'm into. I don't have anything negating monster effects on the field. So that could be an issue, but at the same time, I don't know. I'm not super well versed with this deck. Forgive me for my minor misplays. Um, especially considering I was over here criticizing my opponent for his with the Oath Dragon. But the thing is, is like that's a super simple card interaction. That's literally like a one step thing. Whereas mine is I was literally YOLOing a what? Like 40 step turn structure <laughs> of monsters that require specific column placement. It was uh, it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad in terms of how uh, how hard it was to uh, to get. Let's see. Um, yeah, sure. That's fine. Uh huh. Cool. Um, that's the thing. This why is the skull beat here? Why didn't I put it here? I just, I'm, I'm looking at my board that I've made, and I'm like, what the fuck did I end with considering what I put into it? <laughs> it's just, it's boggling my mind. I need to go and actually really test heavily with this deck. This might be a stream deck. This might be one of those decks I just start playing on, like, a live stream for hours and hours, and just be like, look at this degeneracy, look at this nonsense that I'm trying to pull, and try to uh, learn a lot more intricacies of it then, because I haven't put a lot of time into this deck. Um, I've put enough to know what I do with like the grinder golem, with the with the Venus, with all that stuff, and how to like try and dig for all these spells and traps. I'm very, you know, I'm versed with like putting things in certain areas. But yeah, look, wouldn't it have been great if you'd had like an extra wisdom eye in your hand that you could have pendulumed here? 
Ah, uh, that's right. Skullie does open a zone for him. Forgot about that. Um, but yeah, that's fine. Um, I'm probably gonna get board wiped by Clearway. <laughs> that's what always happens when I play against this deck. If my opponent's not a dumbass, he's gonna board wipe me with Clearwing. Um, that's the only that's the only way I could see this happening. Uh, let's see, Wisdom Eye there, cool. Um, hmm. How do I do what I need to do? Uh, I can use this to prevent him from using this to make his stuff double do double damage. Um, so that's fine. Uh, because that gives that negates this thing from destroying itself, and then um, it prevents it from destroying itself, which prevents me from having to deal with another time pendulum graph potentially on my next turn. If it gets back to my next turn and the board stays how it is, there's no way that I don't win this game. Um, literally none. Okay, so he's just making heavy metal foes Electrum, um, which I find interesting, but at the same time, sure, it opens up more zones. Uh, now, what are you gonna do with these two? Is the question. That's the question I have. I can use this to. I can use both of these to search, um, because I can banish one during this turn. I can banish the next one in the draw phase of my next turn to search twice, and then they'll both return themselves. Um, what do you add? Do you have purple poison? He did, and he's targeting purple poison. What? Well, I don't know if that's correct. Because, yeah, you get to do this, and you've already added a purple poison to your hand. And you get to summon the Astrograph Sorcerer for a beater. But, like, I mean, sure, you're, you're trying to shut off this so you can use your Time Pendulum Graph successfully. But, at the same time, I don't know if that's correct. I think you should actually physically be going for my monsters, unless you're actually just going to uh, clear wing me. Because if you're, if you're going to clear wing me, then... Good God! Like you're you you have you have the out to my entire board. <laughs> it's an out exclusive to pendulum magicians, but you're also running really low on time. Um, oh, Ignister, so not even Clearwing. Very interesting. Uh, so you're gonna activate this, destroy this. I'm gonna use one of these to banish itself. Um, no way that I'm not. I don't see that I I don't see any way that I lose. You know what? Actually, I'm just gonna let him spin a card. I'm gonna see what he spins first. Because there's no reason to chain. There's no reason to chain this because then he'll just spin the other one potentially. Um, like, literally, no reason to do any of that. Okay, time pendulum graph, cool. I'm gonna have to deal with that next turn, but I'm kinda not, also. Um, so, battle phase, you're attacking over this. Sure. Um, calculating damage. Um, no, that's fine. <laughs> I don't wanna, I don't wanna reveal this. Uh, are you going to suicide this into this? Oh, you're going to attack a Shine Ball. Sure! Please! Get that off my field! Get it out of here! <laughs> get it out! We don't want. Extreme not want. My hand is pretty loaded for what I want to do as well. Um, like, next turn. So I can easily just search two cards, uh, do my Time Pendulum Graph nonsense, and everything is really just good. Um, okay, cool. Violet Poison. Um, its effect has been activated. Wait, no, I guess it was just card. End of main phase. Um, end phase. Come on. I'm holding down A. Thank you. I'm going to activate this, uh, targeting itself to banish itself. Uh, and then I'm going to draw phase the other one. Uh, so that I can get two searches, see what's about to happen, see what I draw, and then these can come back onto uh, my board in some way. I'm gonna get a search for both of these. I don't even care. I don't want to draw. Um, I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to leave that jet blue card in my deck. That's a trade in. So, draw phase. We'll activate this target to banish itself. And unless this is the card I banished last turn, this uh, the other copy should come back as well. I actually didn't think about it when I clicked what I added back with key. Uh, so this could be the one that's supposed to be coming back, or. I have, but at the very least, I have two monsters coming back. Uh, they return, they do not special summon. Um, but even if they didn't, I'm fine with this maxi. I'm probably going to kill you this turn. Um, so yeah. We'll activate this. Jesus! 
Which one? Um, Jack Knight of the Golden Blossom. Hell yeah! Okay, so that means I didn't get rid of the, the wrong one. Um, and I can put uh, another one... Uh, I can set the trade in here and make this live. This one column's already live, this column's already live, this column's already live. Um, all of the columns are live. Um, what a wonderful feeling. I'll put this... Uh, I'll activate this, boink, uh, and I'll put it here. And then I'll bring this one back. Uh, I'll bring it back here. Um, just to make him think that I don't really have it. Uh, but so what we'll do is we'll activate this, getting rid of this, to again draw cards. Um, that's a grinder golem. That's basically game. Uh, but so I can activate this, uh, banishing this, and it destroys the time pendulum graph. So you can chain it all you want. Um, I'm going to be able to banish my two things, clear the way for everything to happen. Physically everything. Uh huh, cool. So you're going to target Purple Poison, you're going to target that. Um, I am going to... Chain... No. Why is it not letting me chain this? Oh, because there's no targets left in my deck. That's why. Silly me. I'm losing track of my own, uh, my own mind. But this... I have game this turn. It's fine. You can pop all these cards that you want. That's fine. I have Grinder Golem. I have game. Um... 100%. Because I can just summon this, pop your Astrograph, um, I can Grinder Golem, make Firewall, Firewall can add back my, uh, Firewall can add back my, uh, Cobalt, um, my Cobalt dude that's in the grave. I can summon it. Yeah, this is free. This was free. Um, also, I can, I'm under max C. I'm just gonna deck you out. That's another option. We'll, we'll take that option, sire. Um, because I've got this Link Karibo engraved that I can just summon. Haha. -ha. We'll just deck you out. I like that response. Uh, so we'll do this. This can put back the Grinder Golem. Because every time I summon Grinder Golem, that's two instances of tokens being generated as well. Um, or it's tokens generate, he draws a card, and then Grinder Specials, he draws a card. Um, so like that's easily, easily something that I'm okay with. Uh, but so we'll put the security dragon over here, you draw a card, we'll activate this, put the grinder golem back into my hand, then we'll special summon the grinder golem again. This was free. This was easy! Um, so now I'll make firewall with these. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, so firewall go over here. And then I'll use Firewall's effect. Actually, you know what? Do I have... How many of those... Uh, how many of the Cobalt Spheres do I have uh, gone? I've got one, two in my grave. And do I have any of them banished? Yes, there are none left. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well then we'll activate this. And we'll call uh, True Depths. Because that's a card I haven't really seen. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. We're calling Scars. Uh, because Scars is a combo card. So we'll see if we get to it. Uh, otherwise, my opponent just like Ash Blossoms this, and I mean, shit. Grinder Golem, Ash, True Depths, Trade In. Shit. Alright. <laughs> um, okay, so. Uh, now, what I can do is I can activate this. Um, I can special summon this freely. I can special summon whatever monster I want freely uh, as well. So, I will activate this special, or to add back my. Um, to add back my Cobalt Man, Cobalt Depths, and then I can Special Summon it. Um, I have access to this, which I could use. Um, I can Special my Cobalt Depths over here, I can move it, uh, and then Special Summon this, which will pop and destroy. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. I think I think this is just easily, easily game in this method. Um, because I've got this, which I can use to beat over the, uh, I can use to beat over the Ignister anyway. So what we'll do is we'll put this over here, and then I'll special summon this right here. If I had another monster I could search in my hand, then I would be able to put it out onto the field, but as it stands, this is fine. Uh, so we'll do this. I can actually make the Jack Knight Link. 
Um, just to give another free special summon to my opponent uh, for the Max C train. That'd let me special summon this as well, which could pop. Um, I've got a lot of capability. I've got a lot of capability of what I can do. So, let's see. I can attack with uh, this over this. That's 300. Um, I can damage step this over that. I can attack, 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 do a bunch of stuff. Or I can Jax Knight. Uh, so I haven't special summoned this this turn, so I can special summon it. It'll be here. Um, and, uh, yeah, so let's see. There's that. There, but there's no other where, there's no other places I can summon my stuff. So, yeah, this is what we'll do. We'll just, we'll, this will be our field. So we'll attack with this into that, into the Grinder Golem. And then we get to flip this. Increase attack and defense? Why, yes. Um, and I'll do it on this, and I'll attack with this, and then I can attack over this, and then I get to attack directly with these two, and that should be game, because that's 4750, and these both make up 5000. So, that was a long game, and that was Mech Knights. <laughs> that was Degenerate Mech Knights. Trying to do the Grinder Gold nonsense, make Skuldy, draw cards, do all that bullshit. That's, that's, that's all you're ever trying to do with this deck. So, this is long as shit. This is so long. I'm gonna just end this video right the fuck now. But yeah, so that was a weird one. That was a weird and wacky look into the inner workings of what goes on in my mind. Playing a bunch of starter cards like Grinder Goal and Venus and stuff to try and turbo into Skull Deets. As you can see, I bumped it up to three because after I started making two consistently on the turn one, I was decided I was like, this is, this is a card. This, this card goes to three. Um, this card is like the MVP of this entire deck. It's what the entire deck's built around. And then the Jacks Knights, the Mech Knights, are the muscle of just trying to force through the end game, essentially. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are on this in the comments down below, as per always. Links, as always, are in the description down below to my Facebook fan page as well as my personal Patreon page. If you enjoy my content, really like my content, and want to help see it keep coming out, essentially, help support my ability to make it, then Patreon is the best way to do so, essentially. Even something as little as a dollar a month is a fantastic way to show your support, and you'd have my eternal gratitude if that's something you'd like to do. But other than that, as always, like, comment, subscribe, as you usually do. Thanks for watching, as I've already said. Thanks for your time, and as usual, guys, take care. I'll see you in the next video. This video was obscenely long for no reason other than the fact that I was comboing way too hard, and I'm sorry for that, but I also probably made a lot of mistakes. But I will be reviewing the footage myself, and I will be pointing out everything in my mind that I could have done better. So that's why I love making these sorts of videos, because I sit there and I'm like, oh, I did that wrong, oh, I did this wrong, oh, I did that wrong. It's a wonderful learning experience for me as well. But anyway... That's enough rambling. As I've already said, take care. See you in the next one. So now the video's over. As usual, I'd like to give a special thanks to Iradium, Jay Garcia, Yuki Phoenix, Troy Perkins, Eric Gertson, Tour Guides Guy, and Ringleader, as well as everybody else that is currently supporting me on Patreon this month. You guys help out a ton, way more than I could ever express. You have my eternal gratitude, and you guys are forever awesome. Thank you so much for the support, you guys.